Now see a damped and undamped oscillation. First we will discuss undamped simple harmonic oscillations. Now see its definition, when a body oscillates with constant amplitude which does not change with time, its oscillations are called undamped. Suppose you have got a simple pendulum here suspended like this and this is the main position. If you take it to this position initially and just make it free from here, so it will, it will oscillate between this and this point. If this pendulum keeps on oscillating for ever with the constant amplitude, amplitude does not change with the time, then we can say the oscillation of simple pendulum is undamped. It is only possible if there is no force which is trying to reduce the motion of the trying to reduce the in energy of the oscillating body. It means there is no friction at this point even there is no friction of air. It means if the pendulum is oscillated in vacuum, it oscillates and its oscillations are undamped and in that case energy of the pendulum remains constant with the time that is energy is equal to total energy is equal to half k x naught square if x naught is amplitude. So, this is the graph for here x naught is, naught is amplitude and the amplitude does not change with the time amplitude of the oscillation remains constant. So, this type of the oscillations are known as undamped simple harmonic oscillations. Now see a damped oscillation, when a simple harmonic system oscillates with a decreasing amplitude with the time, its oscillations are called damped oscillations. Simple example is here, if you take a simple pendulum and here place like this and you just uh, oscillate it with this amplitude suppose and leave it, after some time it will come to rest. Reason is here because of the friction of air. So, it is the energy or the energy of the system keeps on decreasing that gets converted into another form due to the friction because energy is utilized to work against the friction. Because of that the system's amplitude keeps on decreasing with the time and ultimately system comes to halt and it comes to at rest. Similarly, if you take a spring in air and just is oscillate and leave it after some time it comes to rest. So, now see here take the example is here. So, all these examples are here of uh, damped oscillations. Here I have taken a spring here and a mass is attached. When this mass is oscillated in the air, it keeps on oscillating for the long time. Now, one vane is attached here, V stands for here vane which is uh, massless. When it is attached here, this is the equilibrium position and this mass is pulled downward and leave it, made it free. Then this system oscillates. When this vein goes inside it, the liquid, it displaces the liquid because of that upthrust is acting. Because of that force, its motion is opposed. So, due to this upthrust, due to the viscous force also here, this system comes to rest after some time or its amplitude keeps on decreasing. So, this type of oscillation is known as damped oscillation. For small oscillations here, we can write also here the damping force we can write here F D is equal to minus B V, where B is called here damping constant. So, for small oscillations we can write here damping force acting on the body is directly proportional to velocity and it is coming negative sign because it is acting opposite to the velocity here. So, when this is displaced by a small displacement suppose uh, x downward, then we can write the total force is equal to F is equal to minus B V minus K x. So, we can also write here M into here its acceleration we can write here A is equal to minus B V A minus K x. So, we can write also here this one M into D square x upon D T square plus b into dx upon dt plus kx is equal to 0. So, we have got this is the equation for the damped oscillation. Now, the solution of this equation 
can be written as this is uh, solution is beyond your scope. So, no need to do that. So, the solution of this equation can be written x is equal to x naught e raised to power minus b t upon 2 m cos omega dash t plus phi. Now, omega dash is here frequency of the damped oscillations. This is given by k upon m minus b square upon 2 m, where b is here damping constant. Now, see here this is called here amplitude portion this, this one. So, in this case e raised to power minus b t upon 2 m and x naught can be taken as this whole thing can be taken as amplitude. So, we can write energy is equal to half k x naught square. So, we can write here half k x naught square and e raised to power minus b t upon m because 2 will get cancelled because of the square. So, this is the total energy of the body oscillating and oscillating whose amplitude keeps on decreasing. So, now see here the total energy depend on the time t. As the time increases the total energy decreases and ultimately total energy reduces to 0 and the oscillation stops. And for this type of the oscillation the dis graph between the amplitude are the x and t is given like this is a larger amplitude and which keeps on decreasing with the time. 